It's been a while since we had a game on this channel. Making games for these tiny development systems is always fun. In this video I will show you my smallest or tiniest game console and this is maybe the tiniest game console in the world. I will also share my code, explain the code a bit and I will announce my first coding challenge, so stay tuned, it will be fun and challenging. I showed you this development board a few weeks ago. The name of this ESP32 board is TQT, it is produced by LilyGo and in this plastic case it was perfect for my miniature arcade game console. You can find TQT and case on LilyGo site, link is in the description. When I started with this channel six years ago, it was hard to get new subscribers. And I really don't understand why. For example, check this masterpiece. Yes, this was my video. A few years later I started to program games and more and more subscribers came aboard. I made a few games using uh, different boards and I also designed a few PCBs for my games projects. Because th these boards have only two or even zero push buttons and I need additional buttons, LEDs and buzzers. These PCBs are made by PCBWay. PCBWay is sponsor of this video and on their site you can find and order these boards and or you can order your, your own designs. I will leave links in the description so feel free to check it. They can produce your PCB, PCBs but they also have 3D printing service and much more. Don't forget to check their site. In this case I wanted to use only built-in buttons because this is smallest, tiniest game console in the world. So I don't have a PCB this time. And yes, I almost forgot. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support my work you can buy me a coffee. Thank you. I love you. So here it is. Two push buttons, three games and this cute display. This is really small but games are still playable and fun. Currently there are only three games. Snake. Did you know that you don't need four buttons to play Snake? Because you always turn left or right. So two buttons are enough. This way the game is more challenging and more fun. We also have a breakout game, breakout game. Classic and fun to play. It brings memories back. And last is this space shooter. With this push button I can change the direction of my battleship and with this I can shoot photon plasma torpedoes. <laughs> At the beginning every game is really easy to play but it gets harder and harder. We will check the code later but first I want to present you my first coding challenge on this channel. So here is challenge. You need to make a game for this device. Don't worry, you don't need to buy this board. You can use any board, uh, any device. Rules are, you need to use TFT ASPI library. You can use only two push buttons and the game needs to run inside 128 by 128 sprite or frame. When you are finished you can send me your code and I will show games I received in future video. 
we will choose winner and I will send this board to winner which is really cool we can also try to integrate a few more games in this awesome console I hope many of you will accept this challenge and I hope we will have more games for this two button console I can't wait to see your work you can find my code in the description it can be a little confusing but comments can help you each game has its own variables and functions so you can check which function is related to specific game chosen game is represented with this variable it is hard to explain whole code but I believe in you you can study my code and I hope you will learn a few tricks and that's it for today I'm really excited about our challenge please leave a comment if you are planning to accept the challenge thank you have a nice day and have fun goodbye